What is up? I am back with another reaction video. So, Brian Callen did a podcast with these guys on uh, YouTube called the Mind Pump Podcast. It's actually pretty dope. I just subscribed to them. Go ahead and check it out to check out the full thing. They just dropped it and they timestamped it in the description. And he addresses the allegations and what happened with the fighter and the kid. So I'm going to go ahead and react to this and give you my thoughts on it. But go ahead and check them out on uh, YouTube. Uh, let's check out what Brian Callen had to say podcast we heard out there and i was Try just me. like yeah and, and i just want you to go through this and like what happened and you know what what that looks like now uh what, you mean fighter and the kid yeah, yeah. fighter and the kid we literally we literally used to when we started the show five years ago fighter and the kid was one of our inspiration just the, yeah. the, the chemistry yeah. and the, the banter and the way you guys put well it together. what was so hard is like so brennan and i are still very close mm -hmm. we talk every day and what was so hard was when you get when you get canceled when you get when somebody just makes up <clears> lies about you you can't do anything about it anymore and you have to just, you know, I, I went on the offensive and I was never going to be quiet about it because it's just, it, it was just insane. So I will give him that. He did the opposite of what Chris D'Elia did. Um, I went on the offensive and I said, I'm not going away like everybody else. Fuck this. Mm. Cause I know who I am and so does everybody else I know. And, and so, but what happens is in, with cancel culture, corporations, your sponsors go, we can't, Mm. Right now, we just don't want to. We're we're afraid. Yeah, because it was you had an allegation, right? Yeah, and right. It, there was no evidence, no nothing. Just no, someone said something. Twenty one years old. That's twenty one years old. Uh, yeah, like yeah. twenty one years ago, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what was the first thing that happened when you? How did you know? Oh shit! This I is think it was like uh, like eight hours before that. My lawyer called me and said, "There's a, there's they're writing a story, and and you know you just hear that they're all you hear is that there are allegations. And when I read them, I went, "You're this is stuff I they said I said." Hmm. You got to remember that that the 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 these two women said I said something. It wasn't even a nothing physical. It was something, what I said. And yeah, the first two were bizarre allegations. And then a woman from 1999 had an an allegation, hmm. and and I was like, and the first thing I said, I went, "Who?" I go, "That's not possible. It made no sense." But you don't know the the detailed story they're going to tell. You don't know any of that. You you if you if that was the case, I could have mounted. An attack. I could have been like, this is fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. But all you can do when somebody does that and you have an activist who's a journalist, because these people are activists, they're not journalists. Right. All you can do, and they know who you are. They, you, you're the enemy. I speak too much. Mm -hmm. I talk too much. Mm -hmm. and, and, and people know my politics. I'm not even, you know, you can't even call me right wing. I'm just a guy who believes in freedom and individual responsibility and those things. I'm fucking socially liberal as fuck. Mm -hmm. You know, I, you know um, but it doesn't matter. You're, you're, I was lumped in with a group of people who were considered uh, problematic. Uh, that's what happens. And I was told that. Mm -hmm. I was told to shut up. By people. Were you told that beforehand? Yes. Wow. wow. Yes. Because I would voice, my, I was told by some pretty smart, intelligent, powerful people. From the stuff that you would talk about on Fire Sure. And on yeah. Rogan and stuff like that. And I was like, and I was like, really? Fuck off. You know, I got nothing. I'm Damn. They, that's what they told Dalia. And I kind of agree with what Callan did. Don't shut up. Just go forward. I'm got nothing to hide. I've been a good guy my whole life. Yeah. Well, get uh, you know I'm not uh, whatever the case. We can trace that back to you know Chris and I had a Chris Lee and I had a show on Netflix. Mm -hmm. So you know you get lumped in with all this stuff. Mm -hmm. What happens is my podcast after seven years that I built seven years, they go the sponsors go we we can't the, your agent calls you and says this nobody nobody will sponsor right wow, now. Wow, like and that. so my 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 fucking brother, like all of them. All of them. my brother, because everybody's got dirt. Everybody, everybody's terrified. Well, let, I'll, I'll explain what it is. It's like McCarthyism. But my yeah. brother, my brother, who I built a podcast for seven years, we had to walk away. I, I had to, to protect him. I had to get away because otherwise his sponsors would jump. Yeah. Wow. And so that's what fucking happens. And what happens is, listen, if you can come after somebody after 21 fucking years where you're like, what? Yeah. What? What do you, what do, you do with that? You, everybody and, and it's a every and it's a verbal thing. I thought it was actually well. A no, no. For the, the, the twenty-one years ago was a was a was an allegation of physical uh, got you know, assault. But but I mean, again, what, you think I was walking around like do 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 do? Like, uh, uh, what, what do you think I got away with something? You think I'm a, a, a psycho? Right. Was I wearing a stocking over my head? I find it interesting. He walked away to protect Brendan, so the sponsors wouldn't leave. But like the views and stuff tanked. So don't. 
Do you need sponsors that bad? What are you <laughs> out of your fucking mind? Yeah. You, there's no way to defend yourself against this insanity. So you're guilty what, until I mean it's it's yeah, like guilty every, until proven. But innocent, every right? guy that you know who's a comic or every 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 powerful man in Hollywood, mm. everybody is including a lot of women who have husbands and sons and brothers. Everybody goes. They're terrified. Mm -hmm. If they can come after me, they can come after anybody. Mm -hmm. They just can. And that's that's a that's a terrifying place to be because every guy goes like this. They go. Oh, I dated a crazy. Uh, that was a girl, a crazy girl in college. I wonder if she's going to, you know. She just say something. Right. Dude, 21 years later? Wow. So Are you kidding me? So, so this, 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 is what, this is when allegations become weaponized. Yeah. And, and don't kid yourself. It all goes away. And don't kid yourself. It's about murdering you. There, it's, it, you this is about murder. This is about, when you talk about canceling yeah. people, it's a, it's, it's, what it really means is we want to make sure you never work again and you're on the street and you can't feed your children, you can't pay your mortgage. It's nothing other than that. It's nothing less than total and, and absolute devastation. Mm. Don't tell me about, you know, if you're a real scumbag, if you're a Harvey Weinstein or a Bill Cosby, yeah, man, I get it. I get it. The, the evidence is too overwhelming. Fuck off. Get out of here. Go to jail. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, though, you 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 know, if people are getting canceled over a tweet, I'm talking about a tweet. Read the madness of crowds. A tweet, you you somebody put, and they, it was like I I I didn't think about it. I was fat shaming someone, but I didn't realize it. And you got to save your career sometimes. Mm -hmm. This is a very dangerous. Time. Now, did you did you did you have ownership in the show? And did you how did you yes. did you have to uh, did you have to yes. sell it or just no, no, bounce? No, no, no. I mean, I still I'm still you know I'm mm -hmm. still in it, but but it's it's. Uh, it's it's something that That's I. That's interesting. He's still an owner, part owner of the fighter and the kid, which is when um, Brendan Schaub said he still pays Callen. I remember he said that on a Steve O's podcast. Maybe that's why. Worry about for my children. I worry about for everyone. Uh, this is this is something that, and I think a lot of people are worried about it. And I think yeah. most people can't stand this cancel culture shit. Yeah, I mean, I, that's all I hear. Yeah, you know, I, the the part I have a, I struggle with is, uh, you know, I've always been pro market response. Someone acts like an asshole, then people stop buying their products. Blah mm -hmm. blah blah. But it seems like with social media, what you have now is that mob mentality. Which what goes along with that is this. Virtue signaling. So to give an example, somebody says something and maybe it's perceived as mean. I'm going to jump on that person because I want everybody to know I think he's mean. And so you get this crowd. You get social capital. Yes. And yeah. you get this huge crowd. And Because I don't think with an allegation, if this were 20 years ago, no. any of that would have happened to you. But now it's like, oh, we're on the board. We're on board. Everybody now. But you got to fight back. You got to, you got to, you got to, you got to be, you know, if. The, the problem is a lot of people are guilty, so they they get they get they get quiet and they hide. Right. If you're not guilty, you got to fucking get out there and go. Ugh. Little shot at Chris D'Elia was that? Probably not, but it does make a point. Bullshit! No way! You don't get to do this. Mm. Now, I'm not going away. I said it. That's why I made that 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 Instagram video. Yeah. I was like, fuck! Off. I'm not. And everybody was like, don't do this. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. I I know who I am. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, and I want people to hear me say it. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in like some little statement. I was told to like write a statement like, uh, uh, I believe in due process and I'm a supporter of this, that. Get the fuck out of here. Nah. <laughs> that, I'll, you guys do that. Yeah. Not me. You're wrong. You're lying. I didn't, I, and I'm innocent. So mm. how about that? Yeah. I'm not going to, that's when you define yourself. You define yourself based on who you are when the chips are down and what you're willing to say. You you got to stand up for yourself. Now, did that did, yeah. that, did this attitude uh, happen right away, or yes. were you at first in uh, yes. shell shock? Okay. No, 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 no shell shock. I said to my guy, I said to my lawyer and my publicist, I go, "Hey, you guys got. Why do you believe me? Why do you think I'm innocent? I'm not innocent. I, I'm not. I don't want to hire a gun. I want to know why you believe I'm innocent." And I had to hear from them because my my publicist is a feminist. I'm the only the second guy she's ever defended. Mm. And I showed her all my evidence, and I showed her all the people that came forward at in after for over the three day period after that, women, mm -hmm. women who came forward. I've known over twenty five years who were in my life, who are women I've been intimate with, dated, lived with, loved, all that stuff. The that it, it was crazy. It was crazy how with unsolicited. And I got it all on a file. I got it all on a fucking file in a Dropbox, and I sent it to to her, and I sent it to my lawyer. I go, you guys got to read every one of these. I want mm. you to read every single one of these because I want you to see who you're defending. I'm not interested in any other bullshit. I don't want I don't want a hired gun. 
You have to believe in your heart that I'm fucking innocent, one hundred percent. The shitty part scumbag. is that it doesn't matter. But it That's, does at the end I mean, of the day. I mean, you it get, doesn't matter. You're right. I lost everything. Right. But but I will I will keep moving forward. Right. I keep producing content. I keep fighting. Yeah. I keep saying fuck you. Yeah. Because this is not. A, it's not right. Yeah. It's not acceptable. Due process. If you don't believe in due process, and you think you can destroy people's lives over a rumor, over hearsay. Over, over saying that when somebody says you made a disturbing comment, I was never alone with that person, never mm. proved it, but they don't care. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta be full throated about that and say that, and and you keep you keep. It's like my favorite quote by Michelangelo is criticized by creating. You keep creating. You keep mm -hmm. going. Mm -hmm. Keep going. So did you, you started other <clears throat> podcasts. You did other projects. Yeah. Well, how big and hungry podcast coming <laughs> February seventh. <laughs> okay, so. That was the bulk of it, I believe. Um, if there's any more, you can go check it out yourself. It's on YouTube. It's called the Mind Pump Podcast. It's their latest video. Brian discussed, and like I said, they timestamp it here, which is actually pretty cool. So um, that was extremely interesting, him addressing everything, all of the accusations. Um. I really want to know your thoughts in the comments, though, because a lot of interesting things. So he's still owner of the fighter and the kid. He walked away to protect Brendan. I've heard that before. I didn't know how much I bought it, but it seems like it is the case. Uh, and he's going to continue to just keep making content. So subscribe to Brian Callen's Patreon and subscribe to that uh, YouTube channel. But... I really want to know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, don't forget to check out that podcast.